Hello everybody, Lord to with you all today. And today I'm gonna to start a new series called How the fuck do I beat this shit? And basically it's gonna be a series for more beginning competitive players that um that may really struggle with a certain specific Pokemon or a certain strategy. And um and as an administrator of Facebook groups I sometimes get a lot of um beginning competitive players uh complaining about Pokemon that, that can be a, a challenge to to figure out how they tick and how to defeat them with standard teams. So the first Pokemon I'm going to cover is Mega Venusaur. And as you know, uh, Mega Venusaur has tremendous bulk and also has a good typing, especially with its ability Thick Fat, which makes it absurdly bulky. And so oftentimes beginning players will panic when they find out that their non-stab ice and fire type coverage moves found on common standard Pokemon such as um, Dragon types like like Dragonite. Uh, they'll be quite surprised when they find that it does next to no damage to Venusaur. So we're going to cover a few Pokemon that are um, viable in the standard tier to put a stop to Mega Venusaur. So first let's look at the, at the two uh, weaknesses that it retains after going Mega. Psychic and Flying. So naturally, the first Pokemon I think of when I think of a way to stop Me Mega Venusaur is the Lottie Twins, Latios and Latios. Not only are Latios and Latios very good in the standard metagame, but they carry their stab uh, psychic attacks in order to defeat Mega Venusaur. In fact, a Life Orb Latios Psyshock Shock will defeat even the most physically bulky uh, Venusaur, all while Giga Drain and Sludge Bomb do next to nothing due to the Lottie Twins' very good special defenses. Um, the Lottie Twins also provide useful utility in the form of Defog in order to take away entry hazards from your team if you happen to have a lot of Stealth Rock Week Pokemon on your team like Talonflame or Charizard. And the Lottie Twins also do a good job with their great spear speed tiers in other roles such as Choice Scarfers and Choice Specs users. And often times, a lot of beginning players will shy away from these kinds of Pokemon just because they are um, they have a legendary status. And I say don't be afraid to use them. It's legal in the OU tier, they've been legal in VGC tournaments, go ahead and use them. Um, they're great Pokemon and they'll be a great assistance to your team. I was actually uh, going to make another video today, it was going to be sort of a rant video on, um, on people who put blanket bands on legendary Pokemon, but um, I don't know, I just lost motivation and I've sort of calmed down on that issue, so maybe I will make a more, maybe I'll make that video at a later time, but for now we're going to focus on this. Uh, the next uh, type that is effective against Mega Venusaur is Flying. So a good thing, a good Pokemon to keep in handy on any team really is a good revenge killer and what better revenge killer than one with powerful priority like Talonflame. Talonflame's stab brave bird will do serious damage or just flat out Oko really any Mega Venusaur. Uh, although he is a little bit harder to switch in than the Lottie Twins simply because he does not have that great of a special defense and will take a lot from Venusaur carrying Sludge Bomb and a good player will predict the Talonflame switch in and use Sludge Bomb on it possibly KOing it if it's been weakened. This is another reason why it's good to have Defog or Rapid Spin support on your team. And actually the Talonflame and the Lottie Twins make for great partners. They check the walls that often uh, counter each other, being as they're special and physical attackers respectively. And uh, the Lottie Twins also provide Defog for Talonflame, while Talonflame gets rid of uh, Pokemon that may be faster than the Lottie Twins and can KO them in return. However, do note that Tyranitar can outright counter both of these Pokemon, so you better have something like a Landorus T in your party in order to make an effective core to defend against all relevant metagame threats. But back to Mega Venusaur. Um, Talonflame is more of a check rather than an outright counter since it is not always a certain switch in, but is also a very good option for your team. Another good Pokemon with a good flying type stab is um, Staraptor. And Staraptor can also work as a great wall breaker for the team because um, 
A lot of players will often switch out their Mega Venusaur, of course, when you send in a Talon Flame against them, and you'll often have to predict with U-Turn. But with Staraptor, you're free to just go for Brave Bird since even the toughest resists will take a load of damage from a Choice Banded Reckless Brave Bird. I've seen standard Aegis Lashes take upwards of 40% damage in shield form. Now that's some amazing power, if you're willing to give up the priority and speed. Mega Pinsir is also a great Pokemon to use since it has a um, quite a bit more bulk than Staraptor and Talonflame to switch in on Mega Venusaur's attacks, and can actually set up for a sweep on its in its face, which is also which is always useful for the late game if you manage to lure it in with a uh, bulky water type or anything else that Mega Venusaur likes to come in and wall on. And now, often the, the problem with beginning players and checking Mega Venusaur is not necessarily that they bring the wrong Pokemon or they don't bring Pokemon to deal with it, it's often just that they let their checks get weakened over time. If you see a Venusaur on somebody's team, you shouldn't be letting the opponent keep their Stealth Rocks up. You shouldn't take the risk of switching in your Talonflame on Stealth Rocks in order to revenge kill something else if you know they have a full health Venusaur on their team. And so when your check is gone, when your Psychic type or your Flying type uh, offensive flying or psychic types are gone, that's when your opponent will bring in the Venusaur to wall the rest of your team. And I think that's the main source of the complaints by beginning trainers. So another great thing to have is just have a little bit of foresight. Spend a few more seconds at the team preview to plan out a general game plan for certain threats that can, can uh, severely hamper your team if a certain team member uh, faints. Let's see, another uh, good Psychic type to use. See, Psychic type is not exactly the best thing to have in the standard metagame, since Knockoff has become a huge phenomenon, and Tyranitar is still a popular Pokemon, and Bisharp has, has begun rising in usage, especially among the higher... Um, especially among the higher skilled players, including myself. But, I suppose, if you want, you could use... Um, I'm trying to think, Alakazam still makes for a good revenge killer just because its focus sash cannot be broken by residual damage. That way, if your opponent wants to predict the switch in and use Leech Seed, uh, Alakazam will be perfectly intact and its focus sash will be in intact. Another really underrated Pokemon that I want to mention that will beat Mega Venusaur is actually uh, Kira and Black. And the reason for this being is that Kira and Black has a very unique ability called uh, Terravolt. And, uh, well, I guess it's not very unique since Zekrom does get it, and it's basically the same thing as Mold Breaker, meaning that um, ab the abilities of the opposing Pokemon will be ignored, including Thick Fat, which means Kyurem gets to fire off a powerful Stab Super Effective Ice Beam on onto Venusaur, all while Venusaur does next to no damage to its attacks, with its attacks, due to Kyurem's amazing bulk. And again, Kyurem, I feel, is another Pokemon that tends to intimidate beginning players, or, or or rather I should say, beginning players tend to shy away from because they want to avoid uh, using legendaries or want to minimize the usage of legendaries, and while I understand where they're coming from, it's still de it's still a powerful and perfectly legit Pokemon to use, at least in the Smogon OU metagame. So if you're looking for a good check to Mega Venusaur, and Mega Venusaur is used on a lot of stall teams as well. And Kyurem Black is the absolute bane of stall teams, I can tell you that right now. So if you want to break down stall, Kyurem I mean, excuse me, Kyurem Black is probably one of the uh, first Pokemon you should look towards investing in. Especially if you're playing with a more offensive uh, style and need something to break things like, um, I think I'll do another video another time on Quagsire. Uh, Kyurem Black and probably... Uh, I know it can set up a sub on the on the toxic and two hit KO of ice beam, and so yeah, it's just a great uh, general solution for stall. Granted that you have something to switch in on Blissey and Chansey, since the standard QRM cannot break through that, or at least not the substitute set. Um, so I think that's gonna be the end of my video. Um, if any of you have any more questions about Mega Venusaur or any further checks that I didn't come up with on the top of my head, then do leave a comment below, and I'll be sure to answer it. And do subscribe. Thank you.